Oh wow. On Brett. I'm not taking body shots on Brett. No, 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 not on Brett. Yo, yo. <laughs> yo, yo. Yeah. <laughs> what do you do? What do you do about concussions? Concussions. What do you do about concussions? Feels like a Jaeger bomb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But there is, there's actually a drink here called the Concussion. Yes. Yo, yo, what up, y'all? This is Jay yes, Cole. That's why I, Cole I World. Have a concussion. The rack is in the building. And you are now rocking out with Sports Rap Live. Right now on Sports Talk, 790 AM and iHeartRadio. Yeah, that's right. You are tuned in to Sports Talk, 790 and iHeartRadio for Sports Rap Live. Welcome back to Junction Bar and Grill, 160 West Gray. In the shadow of Houston, we just took it to the locker room. We cooled it out a little bit. You know what? The Rock is not in the building, but the Rap is in the building, and the Rap Pack is starting to fill up the Junction Lounge. Yeah! All the way to the back here, we got OGs, new school, good friends, family. Everybody's here tonight, man. I'm loving this. We got a new... We didn't even know. We got listeners from all over that are just walking up to the table. Like, I listen to Sports Talk 790 constantly. I don't listen to the other stations. Oh, yeah, man. I mean, if you want to take a break from getting your sports talk in the cubicle or in the bumper-to-bumper traffic on the way home, come up here at Junction Bar, 160 West Gray. You know, we've got all the games on 42 screens, coldest drinks in town, and the trillest sports just talk Just like Jay Cole. Air. Cole World, baby. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Here we oh. Uh-oh. Special, Uh-oh. And Special shout out. Tank. Absolutely. My shout out right now goes out to Andrew Martinez because he's probably like, what the hell is going on on the show tonight? But we are fired up. We're amped up. It's summertime. Hey, because he's the man. He's the OG rap pack. That's why. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, sir. We'll take these in just a minute. Let's baseball. Get into, let's get into the Martinez get report right now, where we keep our eye on the diamond, just like they do there at four, just like they do at four five one Fairfax for Diamond Supply. The Diamond King shirts came out this week. I saw some of those. They sold out quick, didn't they? Three minutes. Three minutes they were gone. Shout out wow. to Diamond Supply and uh, the brilliant mind of Nikki Diamonds. Man, that was one for the Rat Pack right there. That was, but we cannot rock those on the show, unfortunately, because it's a little too uh, sports related. Let's get to this. Uh, Let's get done, into man. it. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's Where talk about the Astros. It? Let's get today, into the Astros. The Astros won a game today, so I'm kind of excited about that. Okay. It's been a while. It has been a little while. It's Since been we've been live minute. on air, they've been losing. So Yeah, they finally won. They had a four-game losing streak. They broke today. Um, I, well, actually, they won Can we drink yesterday. to the Astros? Let's actually, do that. Actually, they won last we'll night and today. Took two from the Brewers. So, that's good. To the Astros. Actually, they're the still Astros. playing right now. What am I talking about? They already won. Yeah. To the six. It's well, they're four, four zero. Wait yeah, right. a yeah. second. Did you just preempt this shot with a premature... Premature. I was looking at last night. Okay, so they won last night. They won last night. He's okay. Probably going to win again tonight. He does have a and tendency to predict the future. He does. They need to get these wins in like we talked about because with the Rangers heading to town this weekend, it's going to be pretty interesting as to what's going to happen. So we'll see about that. But, you know, the Astros right now, I also want to talk about All-Star break is coming up soon, Adam. We've talked about maybe going out to Kansas City and seeing what that's about. I yes, think, I think yes. fans need to get behind Jose Altuve, and Altuve being our at least we're at least gonna have one representative. I no, I don't want to be the, the oh we have to pick somebody because it's fair guy. I want it to be Altuve Realistic. makes the team because he's the best well, damn second baseman in the league. I think it should realistically be Jed Lowry, Jose Altuve, and probably Brett Myers that all make the team. But we'll see how that turns out. I think when you look at Altuve's numbers, he is you know just as deserving as probably any other second baseman in the National League. If you want to take him or, I mean, look at the kind of the numbers, I think he's right there. I mean, who else can you throw in the conversation? R- really no one else. I mean, That's Mark Ellis is about. there, but I mean, Mark Ellis isn't an all-star. Omar Infante. Omar Infante is having a pretty good season. He's a former all-star himself. But as far as second baseman go, it, there's really not, I mean, Dan Ugla, I guess. That, that, Especially that, that's pretty this is much the it. guy that you want to be there in the All-Star game for the next four or five years as yeah. an Astro. And there was a really good piece this week on Jose Altuv on ESPN.com that was written that pretty much broke down his sort of rise to like a guy that was an organizational depth guy in the Astros minor league system to where he is today where he's you know doing pretty well as far as all of his numbers, batting average, extra base hits. At one point, Adam, he had more extra base hits than, pre, than uh, I think it was Prince Fielder. And really? Yeah. So, I mean, he's been doing pretty Pops good. a little Altuve. Yeah, he's, his, little, his little legs will take him pretty far. That's awesome. impressive. Awesome. Well, so I, 
Yeah, hey, hey. Speaking of taking him far, JD Martinez is not going very far these days. No, JD Martinez is he's in a funk this year. I don't know what happened. He started off so hot, but now his batting average is down to 227. He has three homers, 21 RBI. I don't know what they can do. They gave he had him a, that in the first week. It seemed like they gave him a pretty a pretty nice little break to get him. I guess his mind cleared, but he has not been. He hasn't been producing like he, we thought he would last season or at the beginning of this season. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, right, well, it's, it's pretty disappointing. What else do you want to talk about with the Astros? Carlos Lee went yard last night. He did. It was a bomb. Yeah, it was, that was a bomb. legit bomb. So, <laughs> what do you think about this series against this uh, weekend against the uh, Rangers? Do you want to go ahead and look ahead? Yeah, at let's go ahead and talk about the interleague play this okay. weekend. Okay, that sounds good to me. Well, <laughs> I think the Astros will get swept. I think Minute Maid is a band box compared to Ranger Stadium. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, the Astros are lucky. Yeah. They're not going to see you, you Darvish. Mr. Bigwood, the natural, Josh Hamilton coming in with some rest. Yeah, and you Darvish pitched last night. I think and he was just tearing it up against the A's. Wicked. This kid is wicked. Yeah. I'm so, so glad he worked out because I'm tired of the Asian baseball players coming over here and getting well, a bad he's rap. He's different than those other guys, too. Oh, he's different now. Oh, he's always been different. Uh, he was always why, been like... Because his hair's blonde? And no, because he was like the superstar, brown? the kind of bulldog mentality. He was that kind of ace guy over there. He wasn't some guy that kind of finessed you with the different pitches like a Dice K had or some of those other players. He's a guy that would go after people and really strike them out. All right. Well, uh, let's talk about some of the stories this week, Andrew. We saw the umpire. Anytime we talk about umpires, we bring up umpires in the game or on the show. Right. It's because they, they involve themselves in the game. And we had an altercation in Toronto where this young superstar or up-and-coming yeah. superstar, Brett Lowry, slammed down his helmet and and basically went OG Brett well, on him. What led up to that is that there was a called it was a called strike, and it was obviously that he probably should have been a ball and he should have taken a walk. But after that, which put the count at three and one. Right. He took his steps out of the, out of the batter's box already set down to her head to no, first. No, sorry, he put it at three and two. He thought it was ball four. Right, so he already right. was, had his foot out, the, out of the uh, box right there to try and make it to first base. But then after that, it really didn't matter what was going to happen on the next ball because it was going to be called a strike either way. He was going to be rung up. So he got the third strike, which was even questionable at that. It was outside. But he got his helmet and he slammed it down in anger and it bounced up and hit uh, the umpire. He's lucky to get a four-game suspension. He really is because any time... Oh, it was announced? Yeah, games. it was announced today, a four-game suspension because any time that your equipment ends up hitting an umpire, that's probably grounds for at least five, you know, five games. So he's he's probably pretty lucky. And I think Major League Baseball it was also... Kind of, it was kind of a, a circumstantial... Yeah, they also probably looked at that and realized result. he probably should have been walked. That was a walk. Yeah. You know, he, that probably was a ball. So they kind of levied with, I think, with him. And he had a, an appeal for that, but they, he withdrew his appeal upon that. So... Well, here's the funny thing. We were sitting out here last night for our, our team meeting, and you brought up the fact that you'd like to see robot umpires in Major League Baseball. I would. They would. Okay, look at this. After it's the a game, new world order right here on Sports Live. At, after the game, the umpires get graded, right? Yeah. Against, against these basically So what happens if you grade a robot? He's going to get pissed and take over the world. Well, Twitter bots are going to come after him. Or the Avengers. I don't know about that. Okay. Maybe Skynet would turn on itself Skynet and it would, it would shut real. the whole thing down. I believe yeah. the Skynet yeah, theory. Skynet. Ro but Robo you really have to think, once you see all these bad calls, Adam, that are, that are, I mean, they're happening right now in the regular season, but you want to see a World Series game where it's like a, clearly a ball and it gets called a strike or vice versa? I mean, give me the I robot umpires because the, the quote, human element, the human element isn't, a, I think, a good thing for baseball. Time out, time out. No, no time out. We're going to keep it going. You keep it going. Okay. I'm going to take this Louisville slugger over here, and take I'm going to talk to OG Rat Pack Brett for a second. Kadoma, hey, have you been keeping up with this Roger Don't Clemens get in the discipline trial? chamber tonight, okay? You don't want to go to the principal's office. You hear me? We got to talk about this Roger Clemens trial. Have you been seeing these jurors that have been falling asleep, Adam? <laughs> wow. The second juror fell asleep this week in the Roger Clemens trial. Have you been keeping up with <laughs> yeah. this? Yeah. Yeah, so Andy Pettit, you're telling me Andy Pettit goes in there, says he misremembers just like <laughs> Clemens did, and then he's on his way back to pitch in Major League Baseball. Meanwhile, you got Clemens versus McNamee. And McNamee's basically And the bad said, rap king in the building. McNamee's pretty much come out and said that he lied. And he, he told a lie. Of liar. course he did. They all misremembered, man. You're the one that said you don't even want to talk about this case because it's well, so much garbage. Let's move on to something that I think you might be interested in, is that's the Bay Area, me. the Bay Area, California. Bud Seeley came out and said today that it's up to the owner of the A's if he wants to keep the team there. So we could see the Oakland A's moving to a different, maybe a different part of California, maybe a different city, state altogether. Do you think that there's a city you would like to see the Oakland A's uh, move to, or do you want to see them stay there? Uh, move to somewhere you else? better keep baseball in the Bay Area, or MC Hammer well, is going to hammer dance all over your own dugout. Well, they already, have, they already have the Bay Area. They have the San Francisco Giants. They're moving to San Jose. That ain't no, the Bay. Not. 
That's the word on the street. That's the word on the street's wrong. The Giants are staying. Just like Andrew Bynum is the best young center in the Why NBA. Why would the Giants move? The Giants have a great home home following it's there. It's been discussed. No, it has not. Have... I'm telling you, it hasn't. The Giants have not discussed moving. Okay. The A's have. So Keith Law doesn't know what he's talking about. I want to see this proof about the, the Giants. I, I think it. you're talking about the A's. I think you I think that's I think you misremembered. I think it's the A's. Okay, so the A's. I did misremember. Yeah. Name Too much drop in here on Sports Chat Block. Yeah. yeah. But do you think that there's a city that you would like to see the Oakland A's move to? Is there a city you think that deserves baseball that doesn't have right now? That's a great question for the listeners maybe it should out be, there. Maybe, 713, 212. Maybe they should move to Latin America. 713. Part of Major League Baseball? Yeah, maybe yeah. they should move to Puerto so Rico. Spanish has got to go back home? Well, you know, they're trying, to grow, the, they're trying to grow the market. Though. You maybe just they swam your ass all the way here on a raft, well, and now you got to go back maybe home? they should have it in Puerto Rico. I'm just saying they're trying to grow the game. Uh, That's just a theory. To, they need to learn a little something from David Stern. Yeah, well, it's, yeah. it's global. Everything's global now. Sports Trap Live is global with 10 million ears out there on iHeartRadio. So we might, we might. The last thing I want to talk about, Adam, was yeah. Will Rimes. Did you see this last night? That was bad. It was bad. very bad. He got he drilled a, in the elbow. Yeah, I took it. And then he kind of got <laughs> woozy. Woo! <laughs> And he almost, he basically passed out for a little while. He did. His lights got dimmed. He did. Oh, absolutely. He said he felt nauseous, he felt lightheaded, and he just laid it down there for a second. But all is good. He'll be fine. Everything checked out. An elbow cannot give you a concussion. Hey, and we've been talking bad about him for a while now. I just want to say the giant, the Boston Red Sox have started to get oh. their stuff together. Started to get their stuff together. And we, yeah, we, I just don't want to talk about them when times are bad. You know, we need, if we're going to talk about the Red Sox, let's talk about when the times are good, too. So they've kind of started to get together. Does that mean your bet isn't looking so good right now? No, Clay Buckle is still a mess. I'm telling you, you, Bobby B is Bobby still B. out by All-Star break. You can go to church wearing no, he's that Tebow shirt. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bobby B is still going to be out by All-Star break. Kobe's. Can you imagine? Golf clap for Andrew Martinez. That's right. That's right. Although Tito might be frying something up over there. Last, last, last yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Angels fired their hitting coach. Firing your hitting coach never solves anything. No, it doesn't. But Mickey Hatcher was a he was a rock there for Socha. Yeah, I feel bad that he got fired. That's terrible. Scapegoat. It's so bad. I mean, it's not his fault that Al Pujols wasn't hitting those home runs. No, it's not. And Albert Pujols should come in and not need Mickey Hatcher to hit home runs, right? Well, you know, and what's your prediction this weekend with the Astros and the Rangers? Bad? Sweep. Yeah, yeah. Ranger sweep. That's my prediction. Ranger sweep. Okay, I think we're all on the same same page there. Speaking of getting on the same page, Kadoma, you are here. Yes, You're I riding am. with us tonight. Loaded. Yeah. We're, speaking of getting loaded, we're about to load up this table with all the heat from the street that you guys will see not only tonight, but at the H-Town Sneaker Summit on July 29th at Reliance Center. It's a Sunday. It's a fun day. Make sure you guys stick around. And we still got Sean Price. Fly Fest tickets to give away. There's too much going on tonight. So stick around. We'll be right back here on Sports Wrap Live.